Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about hexadecimal and decimal values. So, as we know, the MAC address of the system is always represented in the hexadecimal format, but both types are generally categorized in the ways given below. As you can see in the below table, the left side that is ether type and the right one is hexadecimal value. So, now let's just check this in the Wireshark practically. Further, just open the Wireshark. Type the ARP in the filter box. Then press enter. And as you can see, the ether type of ARP is 0 into 0806. Now, just click on this and as you can see here, the left side, these all are decimal values and the right side, this is the hex value. And as soon as you press on the ARP, then it is it will be get, getting assigned to the right side hex value of 0806. Now let's see the IPv4 type that is 0 into 0800 and now just click on this and as you can see here the right side it is assigned to the 0800 of hex value. Now let's check IPv6. Just click in the filter box ipv6.addr and press enter. Now select any one of the packet. Then let's just check the IPv6. Here as you can see the ether type of IPv6 is 0 into 860. Now let's just click on this and as you can see here it is assigned to the hex value of 86GD. Now IP header that is network layer. IP header holds internet protocol version 4's complete detail that describe the network layer information. Network layer divides data frames into packets and these packets are identified through their logical address that is source or destination network IP address. And as you can see in the given table operating systems hex value TTL Decimal value TTL. TTL refers to time to life. So now let's check the windows hex value TTL and decimal value TTL in the Wireshark. Open the Wireshark and just type ip request dot method is equal to is equal to post. Now let's just press enter and click on this packet. And as you can see here, the time to live that is 128. And as soon as you press on the decimal value of 128 in the right side section, it is, a, it is getting assigned to the 80. So, to know the decimal value of hex value or the hex value of decimal value, let's just use the hexadecimal to decimal converter. In this, just enter the hex number that is 80 and click on the convert. And as soon as you click on the convert, the decimal number it is showing that is 128. So you can simply use this uh, tool to just convert the hex number to the decimal number or the decimal number to the hex number. So now let's just again open the Wireshark and see here. That is, for Windows, the time to live decimal value is 128 and on the hex value it is 80. And for example, let's just take the Linux machine and for Linux machine, the time to live that is 64 and on the hex value that is 40. And for also MAC address, the time to live decimal value is 57 and the hex value time to live that is 39. Similarly, you can take help of the given below table for examining other protocol values. And as you can see here, they are showing the protocol, the hex value and the decimal value. So now let's just check again it in the Wireshark. 
So the first one is ICMP. Then press enter and click any one of the packet. And as you can see here, the hex value, sorry, the decimal value of ICMP is 1. And as soon as you click on here, the hex value, it is, it is getting assigned to the 0, 1. And similarly, for TCP, press on the TCP and select any one of the packet. And then, as you can see here, and here, as you can see, the TCP is 6. So, in the decimal value, the TCP protocol, the decimal value of TCP is 6. And here, as, you, as soon as you click on the decimal value, the hex value, that is assigned to the 0, 6. Now, for ICMP, the hex value 1 is equal to 1. TCP hex value 6 is equal to decimal value 6 and for EGP hex value 8 is equal to the decimal value of 8. The exterior gateway protocol was a routing protocol used to connect different autonomous systems on the internet from the mid 1980s until the mid 1990s when it was replaced by border gateway protocol. So we are not using this EGP right now because it is outdated. Now let's see the UDP. UDP as we know the full form of UDP is user datagram protocol. X value is 11 and the decimal value is 17. For example, this IP header C0A80066 for the IP address that is 192.168.0.102. So now let's open the Wireshark and press on this packet. And as you can see here, the IP address that is 192.168.107, it is getting assigned to the right side hex value that is C0A8006 p as we discussed before. Now let's, as soon as you press on this hex value, it is getting assigned to the left side decimal value that is IP address 192.168.0.107. TCP flags, hex and decimal values, TCP flags are used within TCP packet transfers to indicate a particular connection state or provide additional information about how the packet should be set. TCP flag Field in a TCP segment will help us to understand the function and purpose on any packet in the connection and used to, to troubleshooting purposes. As you can see in the below table, these are the list of flags, the description, decimal value and hex value. CWR Conjunction with window reduced that is CWR flag is set by the sending host shows that it received a TCP segment with the ECE flag set. For that, the decimal value is 128 and the hex value is 80. ECE. ECN echo indicate that the TCP pair is ECN capable during three-way handshake. The decimal value is 64 and the hex value is 40. Urgent. Indicates that the urgent pointer field is significant in this segment. The decimal value is 32 and the hex value is 20. Acknowledgement. This indicates that the acknowledgement field is significant in this segment. For that, the decimal value is 16 and the hex value is 10. Push. Push function to transfer data. Decimal value is 8 and hex value is also 8. Next one, reset. Resets the connection. The decimal value is 4. And the hex value is also 4. Synchronization. Synchronizes the sequence numbers. Decimal value 2 and hex value is also 2. Finish. Last packet from sender which means there is no more data. The decimal value is 1 and the hex value is also 1. Last one. NS. Non-sum flag. 
This is used for concealment protection. For this, the decimal value is 0, 0 and the hex value is also 0, 0. Port and Protocol Services It is a 16-bit number. A port is a virtual point where network connections start and end and managed by computers OS. Each port is associated with a specific process or service. Some of the ports are reserved for certain protocols for example FTP, SSH, HTTP, HTTPS, RTP, etc. So every OS having 65535 port numbers, some ports assigned to the networking protocols that are common ports. Remaining ports are called as uncommon ports, well-known ports. Common port range 0 to 1024 are reserved ports for privileged services. Next one, registered ports. 1024 to 491 are registered ports for user processes or individual application that are private. Next one, dynamic ports. 49152 to 65535, these port numbers are assigned to the client application dynamically when a client creates a connection.